Hello, in this tutorial we will create text-to-speech application in visualbasic.net and during the course of this tutorial we will create an application which is on your screens now and as you can see we have a text box with some text in it and when I click on this button this is my first text-to-speech application uh, it will convert into speech and we can also control the, the level of the sound or volume and as you can see and we can increase it as well this is my first text to speech application so during the course of this tutorial we will discuss how to create this application so let's get started go to visual studio and click on new project in visual basic select windows desktop and then finally windows forms application and our choose name tts text to speech demo vv5 and then click ok and this will create this solution for us now the first thing we need to do is to design our form and I will remove the minimize and maximize buttons by making minimize box property to false and many maximize property box property to false as well now the next thing we need to do to add some control controls to this to this form and the first one I will add is a text box resize it make it multi line and increase the height and I also will set scroll bars property to vertical and you can see vertical scroll bar in here Next, I will add a button control in here. And I will set the text property as speak. And we'll make the name property as speak button. And I will add a label control. And set the text property as volume. Finally, I'll in from all Windows Form panel, I will select Track Bar Control and set the property name property as Volume Track Bar and set the value to seventy five but you can see it's showing this message to us property value is not valid and the reason for that is currently the maximum value is 10 so I will make it 100 and now set the value to 75 and you can see it's here one other thing which I need to do is to change this text to FT now what we need to do whatever you write in this text box and when you click on this button it will convert into speech so double click and create a click event now the first thing we need to do is click on show all file and you will see this references right click add a reference and go to system dot speech and here it is just click OK and that will add it to our references now it has a class called speech synthesizer that's what we need to use dim an object as new speech synthesizer and you can see we need to import 
system dot speech dot sentences so there we go now all we need to do is the object dot speak and as you can see it is asking for test text to speak a string which is a text box one dot text so now if I run this application and right here this is my first text to speech application and clicking on this button will convert into speech this is my first text to speech application and as you can see it's now working now we can also add the volume currently if we change the values this is my first text to speech application you see it has no effect because we haven't coded it yet so all we need to do now the object dot volume equals to the value from the track bar which is its volume track bar dot value when you run the application at the start it the value is 75 so when you run it this is my first text to speech application so by the at the start it was 75 this is my first text to speech application now we can reduce the volume and finally we can increase it 100% this is my first text to speech application so as you can see with three lines of code I have added text to speech functionality to our visual basic.net application so with this I conclude this video thanks for watching